Well, uh, a second record-breaking display in a row from Cristiano Ronaldo has given Portugal their first win at the 2018 World Cup, while Morocco becomes the first team eliminated in Russia. The Portuguese talisman and reigning World Player of the Year had set the stage alight with a hat-trick in his country's tournament opening 3 all draw against Spain last week, and he took only four minutes to take his tally to four North Africans' uh, uh, to four, pardon me. Now, the North Africans, Morocco, were unable to tackle Ronaldo's aerial prowess and a bullet header helped the 33-year-old uh, better his combined tally from three previous World Cup editions after less than 100 minutes of his fourth campaign. Morocco, who returned to the World Cup after 20 long years with a heartbreaking injury time defeat against Iran on Friday, didn't get too bogged down by the early Portuguese lead and in fact outdid the reigning European champions in terms of proper chances on goal. However, a lack of finishing ability hurt the Atlas Lions. Only four of their 16 attempts in the match were on target and that proved their undoing as they became the first team to find the exit door at Russia 2018. Meanwhile, Uruguay will look to seal a knockout spot for both themselves and host Russia when they face Group A whipping boy Saudi Arabia. That match gets underway a short while from now, but that's not the only one to watch out for. Beyond's World Cup expert Ashley Westwood looked ahead to Iran's meeting with Spain later tonight in conversation with our very own Rahul Dalal. They would have felt robbed, uh, uh, you know, by the draw uh, that Ronaldo managed to secure at the end. But all in all, it was a good performance from Spain, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. I think out of all the games I've seen, I think these look the best as in a, in a football inside. Yes, they're a little bit deceptible to a counter-attack, but the, c the control of the football they had across the middle of the park, Iniesta and Isco in particular, were fantastic. Busquets never really gives a ball away. And then they have the added dimension of the hustle and bustle and, and Diego Costa trying to run down the sides of central defenders. Mm. So for me, they, they played some fantastic football. Football, and I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if they beat these comfortably. Uh, it's, it's, hard. it's hard to play against Spain because they have so many good footballers, so many players that come into the little pockets of space. You know, they, they're playing a, a 4 2 3 1, if you like. The wide players come in nice and narrow. They have two central midfielders that can all control the football, Coke and Buskets that yeah. I've mentioned. And like I, like I said up front, they have the pace and power and the clinical finishing of Diego Costa. So for me, the, these look a good side. I think these are the ones to beat for anybody in the tournament, if I'm being honest. Uh, do you think Iran have a shot uh, of trying to stop them? Because, uh, you know, we heard the coach speak before the match and he says we have no problems in admitting that we have absolutely nothing to lose uh, in this match. It's a tough one for them, but a one where Spain also have a little bit of margin for error because you'd feel that for Spain and Portugal, if they get to five points in this group, they'd probably go through, right? I think that's the thinking of Iran as well. You know, if they draw the next two games, they, they're also on five points. So yeah. I think they'll be desperately trying to defend ten players behind the ball, obviously the goalkeeper as well, and they'll just make it hard for Spain to break them down. But if we see an early goal from Spain, then, then the floodgates will open. But that will definitely be Iran's game plan. You can't open up against Spain when, when you're nowhere near as good as them, and, and that's what's, what's going to happen. So it'll be a, a really defensive display, and they'll try and hit Spain on the counter-attack. But for me, I can only ever see one winner here. Uh, Want to give us a quick prediction?